This is the most f***ed up thing that Lucas has no. ever done. What are we doing? <laughs> I'm so expressive. <laughs> oh, you tell them. Okay. Okay, go. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll talk to you guys. Well, I need your Uber thing. They're probably gonna skip through this part. <laughs> no, they're not, Lucas. You have very valuable and interesting things to I say. I know, I know. Just kidding. He wasn't, you guys. No, no, I really was. I feel like I just do that now. Yeah. You know your brain can't take a joke, right? If you say that stuff, like, your brain thinks it's true. Okay, you're right. So, what, what are you? Intelligent. You have valuable things to say. People like you. They want to hear you. They want to see you. And they love you. <laughs> okay? Bye. Stupid. Stupid. So, oh, bro, I said you thick. Me? This is for me, right? Oh, you thick? Damn. <laughs> so disgusting. Lucas is a hater, hey. Lucas is a hater. <gasps> I made ice. I made ice, you guys. Do I look sweaty? Do I not? Cool. Today I'm teaching you the deadliest self-defense move known to man. However, this move is only for life or death situations and not to be messed with. This move was created by Yeltsin in 1987. However, it was immediately banned from all karate competitions due to its violent nature. Which is why, once again, I urge you to use caution. Step one is to make a fist, ensuring that your thumb is on the outside of your fingers. If it is on the inside, it can break your thumb during impact. Do this with both hands. You now want to place your fists halfway between your chest and your hip. Once you're at this point, move them slowly from side to side, and eventually the momentum will end up with you. Oh! <laughs> Wow, that was good. Yep, 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 yep,
want to start doing more i'm kind of happy that i did and i feel like i'm literally now realizing that like i have to open up myself more to people in order to get those friendships that i desire so much all the time it's just hard for me to make friends because i don't put in the effort to do it sometimes especially as an introvert and like as a person that's just really shy you know it just goes to show the reason i have such a great friendship with the tree is because i put myself in a place where i opened up i talked to her we had all different kinds of moments together and it developed into the friendship that it is now and i'm really really grateful for that so I learned something this video, you guys. Oh my god. Focus on me. Remember oh. that I almost died watching that Oh my god. Video? <laughs> you guys, okay, so. This is the most f***ed up thing that Lucas has no. ever done. Oh my god, okay, fine. Um, but I'll explain. So we were all in Seattle watching Focus by Ariana Grande. Like, we were just watching Ariana Grande music videos. And Focus came up. And I have light sensitivity. Like, it's fine. I want to let you guys all know before you rage in the comments that I don't care that he does this. I like to make him feel bad about it, but I don't care. I have light sensitivity. So that music video is very, like, bright. And there's so many lights coming at you. So literally when we were all watching it on the couch, I'm literally going like this. And I'm, like, like looking to the side. And Lucas is laughing at me. <laughs> because it's the sudden, like, we're all watching. And I can just, from the corner of my eyes here, do this. <laughs> That movement was so funny to me because I yeah, know. just like randomly going like, yeah, like oh, oh god. god. That was fucking crazy. Anyways, hi guys. I don't know, it's been a few days since the last time I, I was here. I feel like I've been here almost a week exactly. And I feel really good. I feel like I've been waking up like just very happy. I just love beginnings. Like this is a new beginning. I've been busy also. Like I already started back to my freelancing. I've been editing some videos. I've also been editing some YouTube stuff. It's currently about to be 1 p.m. I've been awake since 8 a.m. because I wake up early now. <laughs> Oh no, Slushy's in it. Okay, never mind. Because Slushy's in it, I like it. His name isn't Slushy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slimy. I cried after my first class with this one teacher because she was assuming things that were not really true. That made me really self-conscious about my image and affected me for a while. No one knows about it, but right now she's one of the best teachers I've ever had. Who would have thought? Love you very much. You always cheer me up. We love Aww, you. We love you. That sucks <laughs> that your teacher is saying that. I will say I have a shared experience about this. Oh, like, really? not me opening up my trauma. <laughs> in third grade, I had a teacher that every time I walked past her, like, in line and stuff, she'd be like, why don't you wear skirts? Like, why don't you be more girly? Yeah. And yeah, and like, me being, what, eight years old? I was like, oh, like, I'm sorry, whatever. And like, it did affect me. I don't think teachers understand how much of an impact their words have, yeah. especially on kids and even like teenagers and, and older adults and stuff like you're in a position of power like people look up to you yeah. so like the words you say matter so i'm really sorry that you had to go through that but it's good that now she's one of the best teachers you know you've ever had yeah. which is nice and redeeming but that doesn't take away the fact that like she did something that affected you and I heard, yeah i actually was gonna bring up also trauma but it was i was had a really bad hair day and i wanted to put my fucking hoodie on and i was walking and she's like hey you take off your fucking like hoodie like she was yelling at me in front of everyone i was yeah. like no i don't want to and she came up to my face and told me take it down and i start crying and i'm like okay oh my god bro the thing is that i like, think what about the hell i think about like elementary school and like there were like 30 year olds 40 year olds getting mad at seven year olds i'm making make sense like yeah. what so i'm gonna cry <sighs> <laughs> but I have officially moved into my apartment. It's February 16th, 2022, and I am ecstatic. I cannot believe that this is real. Like, this is my apartment. <laughs> this is my first time living alone in a new city. So it's scary, but I'm really excited. Oh, I didn't want to cry, but I have been crying a lot. I'm excited for this chapter, and... I appreciate all y'all for sticking with us and following us on our life journey. Like, you don't have to, but you do, and that's beautiful. So, yeah. <laughs> I just hope that you know that we do care about this channel. Like, we made sure to pre film stuff for you all. And, yeah, this is something that I just needed to do. <laughs> and I'm really, really happy that I did. So, 